Well, thousands of students across the state will be attending private or parochial schools this fall, and they'll be using some of your tax dollars to do it. A Marion County judge has denied an injunction that would have kept the state's new voucher system from taking effect this fall. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano has more on why a lawsuit against the state may be the so-called last hope for school voucher opponents. Indiana has already had a court decision saying that there is no right to an education under the state constitution. And any education that is offered to children in Indiana is at the complete discretion of the legislature. LSE Superintendent Ed Eiler says a judge's ruling against an injunction on the school voucher system implies a lawsuit against the state will probably be ruled against as well. He says that lawsuit is the last hope for school voucher opponents. Are you and the other plaintiffs going to be spending time trying to get lawmakers to repeal the legislation? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time, uh, <laughs> frankly, with... Uh, our legislators. Eiler says he's received word that 18 LSC students will be taking advantage of the school voucher program this year. Depending on their years in school and their family's income, that could cost the school corporation between $55,000 and $110,000 this year. But Eiler says it's not this year that he's worried about. In time, I don't think the people in Indiana are going to like what they see. And I am quite concerned about who will be standing in a classroom working with my grandchildren. Eiler says because in many cases the vouchers don't pay for the entire cost of private school and private schools can still choose to reject unqualified students, the public-private competition becomes unfair. But school voucher advocate Robert Enlow disagrees. The money follows the child. This is money dedicated to a child's education. This isn't money for a system. The money is not the school. The money is the child. And that's the principle we're caring about here. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.